Hello and welcome back to the Atlas Agency's continuing investigation of the Path to Carcosa cycle for Arkham Horror the Card Game. I'm your host Brandon and in this video I'll be sharing thoughts on the scenario content in Black Star's Rise, Mythos Pack number 5 in the Carcosa cycle. Hope you enjoy! Like the previous scenario of the Pallid Mask, Black Star's Rise is set in a real-world location in France. This time it's the island of Mont Saint-Michel, and I have to say that I really love this choice of setting. In fact, it's probably my favorite thing about this scenario. I've never been lucky enough to be able to visit Mont Saint-Michel myself, but it's a place that's fascinated me personally for a long time, just from seeing pictures. Mont Saint-Michel is located just a little ways off the coast in Normandy, France, and what's really unique about it is that it's a tidal island. That means that during low tide, it's connected to the mainland by a causeway, what used to be just a bridge of sand, but at high tide, water covers that causeway and the island becomes disconnected from the mainland. At least that's sort of the classic image of the island. I think in the present day, there's actually a bridge that makes it accessible at all times. Aside from the tidal island thing, it also just has a really striking profile. It sort of rises in a pyramid shape. Looks like something out of a fairy tale, really. I have a YouTube playlist called Explore the Lore, the Path to Carcosa, and one of the videos on that list is Mont Saint-Michel from a Drone. I really recommend that you check that video out. It's just a couple minutes, but it's a great look at the island, and it actually has footage taken during a rare super tide where even the bridge was submerged, so you get the full island effect. I probably sound a little bit like a broken record since I talked about how I really liked the real-life setting in The Pallid Mask 2, but I think Mont Saint-Michel works even better because the game really sells it as an echo of Carcosa. I especially like the visual of the island below and the spires of Carcosa hanging upside down in the sky above it, mirroring it. That's just a great image, so to me the island feels like a really natural fit for the campaign, and I have no problem believing that this is where a pathway to Carcosa might open up. And it's neat that the idea of opening a pathway to another dimension is paralleled by the way the ebb and flow of the tide opens and closes the path between the island and the mainland. The Parisian catacombs were a cool real-life location with a horror vibe, but the Pallet Mask maybe didn't do as much to integrate the catacombs into the lore of the campaign, and I think Black Star's Rise does a much better job in that regard. I'm not aware of any previous connections between Mont Saint-Michel and the Haster Mythos. I tried to do a little research, and the closest thing I was able to come up with is just some loose, maybe very loose, similarities between Mont Saint-Michel and the mythical sunken city of Yis, which Chambers does reference in his King in Yellow story, The Demoiselle de Yis. But there is plenty of King in Yellow-inspired fiction out there, so it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that a story had made this connection before. If anyone is aware of any fiction that's linked Mont Saint-Michel with Haster before, I would love to hear about it in the comments. But if connecting Carcosa and Mont Saint-Michel is a completely original idea, then hats off to the Arkham team, because I think it fits extremely well. I think it's a fantastic choice. Okay, so that's a lot about the setting, but it really is my favorite aspect of the scenario. Moving on, though, how does Black Star's Rise play? Well, I think for me this was sort of a middle-of-the-road scenario. I enjoyed playing it, I've had some exciting finishes, but in the end it just maybe didn't do anything in its gameplay that really made it stand out or spark for me. The main hook for the scenario is a twist on the way that the Doom tokens flow. That's something that's been a little bit of a recurring theme in Carcosa, with both Echoes of the Past and A Phantom of Truth playing in that same space in one way or another. In Black Star's Rise, the twist is that instead of having one act deck and one agenda deck, there's no act deck, and instead there are two different agenda decks. Each of those decks represents a possible goal for the scenario, but only one of those goals will actually be available. In a way, it's sort of like you still have an act deck and an agenda deck, you just don't initially know which deck is which. All of this works fine, but in the end for me, it just maybe wasn't as strong a hook as I would have liked. I think I sort of expected there to be a deduction element in figuring out which of the two decks you need to advance, and there really isn't. That's not necessarily a problem, it's just a little different from what I was expecting. The dynamic with having the multiple agenda decks does lead to some interesting wrinkles and gameplay decisions, and there's also an enemy in the scenario that I appreciated that I thought offered an interesting choice, though there is also a kind of dull enemy in the scenario as well. 
The last thing I wanted to comment on, and I think this repeats something I said about the Pallid Mask, is that I was a little disappointed with Black Stars Rise's use of campaign elements, or the lack thereof. I wish it had done a little more in that area. To me, it feels like too much of the campaign payoff is getting pushed into the final scenario, and I would have liked to have seen more of the campaign elements come into play here and earlier as well. I imagine I'll end up talking about that subject a little more when I talk about Dim Carcosa, since I'll probably end that video by sharing thoughts on the Carcosa campaign as a whole. So overall, then, I think Black Stars Rise is a fairly good scenario with a fantastic setting. It wasn't the most memorable Arkham gameplay for me, but it's certainly enjoyable, and I didn't feel that there were any major missteps in the scenario. That's all for this look at Black Stars Rise. Thanks for joining me. Remember that you can find more of my Arkham stuff over at atlasofarkham.wordpress.com and on this YouTube channel. If you've had a chance to play Black Stars Rise, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And until next time, good luck in your own investigations of the Path to Carcosa cycle.